Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today I'm answering a Dear Ruth Teresa question. So the question I'm answering right now is really one that I've had for a couple of years or so, um, but it's one of those, it's always an interesting, we're talking about our Saturn return. So our Saturn return is really kind of something that happens every 27 to 29 years. And I will tell you that it's kind of in one of those interesting ones. And really what it's doing is returning to the sign that it was in when you were born. And so it's one of those, it's kind of easier the older you get. So basically if you're 29 or 30 years old, you're kind of too young because when it returned last time you were an infant and everything was crazy. You just yelled and screamed and everybody else took care of something. It's kind of the fun way to put it. Um, but when you kind of get a little bit older, um, when you start kind of getting in um, like your 50s or so and you start looking at your Saturn return, it makes it like much more interesting because you were over the age of 20 when um, Saturn was last in that sign. So it kind of like, okay, interesting. I can really look at this. So like I said, um, it's kind of almost like a karmic rite of passage is the way I've seen it uh, several times. And it can really help you understand like your next stage of adulthood, kind of like interesting, like hmm, interesting. Um, I will tell you that when you're grown up, you um, are ready to kind of take on some like pretty big ideas and changing the world around you and kind of making some differences. Um, so every uh, 29 and a half years approximately, and it can be as quickly as 27, it can be as high as 29, almost into that 29 and a half, um, uh, Saturn will go back into the sign uh, when you were born. So that's kind of like, wow, this is really interesting. Um, at what age um, do you really have the Saturn return that really makes a difference? Um, kind of really, it happens the first time when you're 27 to 30, um, is to put it kind of uh, clearly. And it's kind of like... Um, like a cosmic kind of like, here we go, a celebration of like, here's your first cosmic return. Um, what's happening in your life? What's going on in your life? Because really by that age, you're old enough to make your own decisions. You're, you know, maybe you're married, maybe you're not, but you've made some life choices. You've made some decisions. You've made some choices in your life. And now you kind of get to really learn how to make different choices or how to make things different. And we're kind of mature enough at that point, like, what is it that I really want to bring into my life? Um, what happens really during a Saturn return is Saturn kind of steps in as kind of like a coach, kind of like to help you, um, kind of like uh, making sure that you're doing everything that you're supposed to do. Kind of like, are you on track? Are you um, doing what you're like, like, in different areas like are you doing what you're supposed to be doing with your body are you doing what you're supposed to be doing in your career are you doing what you're supposed to be doing in your relationships are you doing what you're supposed to be doing with your family so it's kind of like all of these little different areas and I will tell you it's kind of a lot of times people think like um, Saturn's being kind of mean or mean-spirited it's really not it kind of breaks it down to kind of like um, lifting your own weight, kind of like, what is it that you want to bring into your world? What is it that you're ready to choose differently than you've ch chosen before? Um, and kind of like, really um, kind of like, what is it that you're ready to make different in your life? And really where Saturn comes in, in your life is one of those like, wow, this is amazing. Um, Saturn is um, one of those great planets that come in as a master teacher at this time to really show you like where you've excelled at, where you haven't done so well on, and what are the changes or what are the things that you choose to do differently. Um, it really makes sense if you kind of think of, of uh, Saturn's ruler, which is um, really uh, Capricorn. So it's kind of like high achieving, um, hardworking, uh, sign in the zodiac. So it's kind of like, what is this that I really want to do? And I will tell you that it's really a great way to kind of understand, like, are you achieving your life path? Are you achieving your life goals? Are you moving down um, in your life the way you want to be looking at it? And so it's just kind of more of like a guidance of like, where are you in your life and what are you willing to change or do differently? Um, 
how long will it last? Um, it's one of those, I think that's one of those, the interesting part about it um, is it can last anywhere from two and a half to three years. It'll be in that sign. Um, it doesn't stay uh, very long in each sign, uh, but it does really kind of push us or kind of um, allow us to make some um, new choices, some new uh, thinking in our heads. And a lot of times if you go back to like how old you were when it was around last time, it's like, hmm, interesting. What was I going through at that time frame? What was I going through? Uh, what do I want to do differently? How do I want to make different decisions than I've done in the past? And I will tell you kind of, um, it takes like three decades. That's a long time, almost 30 years um, to get to this point in your life. Um, I haven't really had um, a lot of issues with it, anything else, but I'm about to in the next couple of years be hitting my second Saturn return. So I'll tell you how that one goes. Um, I think it's really kind of a great lesson to kind of like, what are you've done right? What are the things that you would like to change? And what would you like to do differently than you've done in the past? And I think this is something that really comes around many, many times in people's lives. Um, like I said, <clears throat> this can be something that can really kind of uh, make you understand your life choices. I think a lot of times in our late 20s and early 30s when the first solar return, um, so Saturn return comes, is we're kind of still in that rebellious stage of like, what do I want to do? And I want to make a name for myself. I want to do these things. And then when it kind of comes in the second time, usually people are kind of around that 60 um, your mark. And so it's kind of like, hmm, interesting. Now I'm kind of like getting ready for the next phase of my life. And then the last one usually comes around in your um, 90s. And so it's kind of like, is there anything else I still have to finish or accomplish or get done? Kind of like, is there anything else to be done <clears throat> on my to-do list? Kind of like, where are we going with that? Unless you plan on living a heck of a lot longer. And I know a few of you are really planning on that one, my, uh, myself included on that. Um, but it's one of those, Saturn is a great way of kind of bringing in some karmic lessons, things that, that you're ready to kind of clear off the plate and kind of look at your life differently and look at it as a learning lesson, not necessarily of what are the things that you haven't done or haven't accomplished or anything like that. Look at it as what is it that you're ready to start differently than you've done in the past. So let's do some um, angel cards and get us a little bit deeper insight into all things Saturn in return. Okay, the first one is study. Study the time frame. Kind of go back um, in many different aspects of your life. Kind of like what was going on in the news during that time frame. Kind of what was going on in the news um, when you were kind of in your late 20, uh, 27 to 30 years of age, kind of like what was going on in the world? How were, how was the world dealing with things? Because how the world dealt with things is kind of really going to give you a, a good aspect of how are you dealing with things? What was going on? Where are things going? That can be a really hmm, interesting sign. Um, next is kind of divine timing. It's coming at the perfect time. Like I said, late 20s, early 30s, we're kind of really thinking of like, making a name for ourselves, making ourselves known, kind of working in our career a lot of times. Sometimes it's family. Family is everything to a lot of people. So that could be something like, what have you done in your family? Um, how have you changed or upgraded your family? And then we get it again, like in our mid six, in our early 60s. So it's kind of like, okay, what else is going on? How is this going to be changing things? How are things going to be working out for me? And what are the changes that I really want to keep going? What are the things I really want to keep moving in my life? Um, or are there things that I'm kind of like ready to let go of? And that is a really great one. Um, next one is truth and integrity, being truthful with yourself. A lot of times people kind of go through this time frame and they're not really looking at what they could or should be doing or changing in their life. Um, but look at it really from a distance, kind of like looking at, you know, pulling yourself out of the picture and kind of looking at, at yourself of what are the things that you're ready to change? What are the things that you're ready to upgrade and make differently than you've done in the past? This is a great time to really look at those things and really think for yourself, what are you willing to change? Nature. This is a nature thing. It's one of those, no one tells, um, um, Saturn when to come back and when to come and come and change things. It's nature. And it's one of those, and that's the cool part about this. It's kind of like it's already divinely um, in there. So we can just kind of like follow the energy of what is else do we need to fix 
What else do we need to change? What else do we need to improve? What else do we want to fix or change or improve with our lives as we get older? Because things that were really important to us in our 30s may not be important, but the ideas that were important to us in the 30s will may still be important to us in our 60s and 90s. Um, the next one is support. We have so much support on the other side. We have so many angels and guides coming in with some amazing energy to support us as we make some changes in our life. And also kind of like ready to start things new, kind of what's coming up new or different for you. Oh, that's our next card. It is kind of like our, our new beginnings. What is coming in new? We're starting kind of like finishing our old phase and kind of coming into some new phases in our life as we hit these milestones of our Saturn return. What else are we willing to change? What else are we willing to start or upgrade or make differently than we've done in the past? I thank you so much for joining me today, and I know that we'll be talking again soon.